YouTube, I see yo, YouTube, I ain't gonna lie, y'all turning up like crazy. I'm gonna be honest with you. Y'all are turning up. Uh da, da. <laughs> yeah, yeah, funny. Oh, young boy, I know y'all I know y'all want young boy. Yo, by the way, salute to Cardi B who did a drill song. She did a song um with um K Flock. K Flock, Dougie B. I like it. I'm not gonna play it on here because we still have YouTube attached and I don't want to get no strikes or whatever. Um by the time I play music, I'm gonna cut I'm cutting YouTube. So everybody gotta go to Twitch at that point. So I'm gonna play that at the end of the stream. Anyway, oh the fall. Let's go down to this, man. Chat. Chat, what did y'all think? What did y'all think? Chat, what did y'all think? Jada's react. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I might delete it off my page because I know how they they come they come for shit. Here we go. I know Shader probably got it still. Let's see if we can find this bitch. This is slap heard around the world. So if you guys don't know, like around a few days ago at the Oscars, okay? At the Oscars, um, I'm trying to get the actual slap. Okay, cool. So at the Oscars, um, we had Chris Rock who made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith. And it wasn't even really about her hair, if you ask me, the joke. I'm going to play it. I'm going to pause it maybe a little bit, but just try to explain Okay, okay, the joke isn't there. The joke, it only shows when he's walking up. Does anyone have the joke? Does anyone have the joke? I guess not. But here's the walk up and the slap. Here we go. Sorry. Here we go. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith. So Will Smith just stabbed shit out of me. Wait, what happened? Wow. Why did they mute the whole thing? Okay. And then he was like, "Yo, keep my keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth." Here's another version. Will Smith just smacked his. Shit. Here we go. Oh boy. I'll let it play one more time. Wow, dude. It was a GI Jane joke. I'm going to, okay? Um, I know we on Twitch, but listen, man, it's big act, you know, we have different rules. Uh Will Smith is a fucking simp. Let's just get straight to it, man. Yo, Will Smith. The fresh simp of Bel Air. I just can't believe this was his actions, man. I'm telling you, man, I, I really grew up looking up to this guy. I thought he was a clean cut, but a man. And I'm realizing maybe Denzel was the only person like that because I realized, yo, Will Smith is a cuck. Straight up. Straight up and down. I can't even, I can't say nothing else, okay? The fresh simp of fucking Bel Air, okay? Let me just tell you this, man. Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. To actually hide in disguise the real reason why his relationship and also his life is in turmoil. We've learned so much about Will Smith, but also his relationship in the last year and a half. And the reason why is because his wife got some fucking podcast that she can't stop using him as an example of a bitch ass nigga. Let's be very clear. A lot of the shit that was going on with them, we didn't have to know. But she used it constantly to fucking. And, and this is what I'm saying. Always watch out for a woman who's down to sacrifice her reputation to further what she got going on. This red table talk shit is nothing but fuckery. She sacrificed that man's reputation, that man's uh, masculinity, and also his manhood. Just to make sure that she had good talking points. Some of these things he was, de he was dealing with within himself. That's why we realized he was never really happy. 
But it never boiled up to the point where he had to react until now. You know why he had to react? And by the way, if we didn't know anything about the entanglement, anything about all the shit she said about on, uh, him on the red table talk, if he never went on there, he would have never slapped somebody. You know why? Because he would have held it, even if he felt some type of way. But he was at his last wit's end. He had to slap that motherfucker. And when slapping that motherfucker, he didn't slap him for himself. Let me just explain to you what the whole situation is with Will Smith. Will Smith is with a woman, and unfortunately, Will Smith cannot satisfy that woman. She said she's emasculated so many times. She's made it very clear that she's not enough. And I've always just said to people, when you're with someone who you love with every fiber of your soul, every particle of your being, and they have deemed or they continually... They continue to let you know that you're not enough. They never give you reaffirmation. Anything you 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 tried your best, and they don't even say good job. They're like, uh, yeah, you could have done better. It's one of those people. That's abuse. But nobody wants to talk about what Will might have been going through mentally. They're trying to blame it down on his parents. They're talking about he he had some PTSD from his father talking to his mom. That's cap. That nigga has been with a woman who never ever told him he was enough. This is a 100% fact. Anytime she could have affirmed that he's the alpha, he's the masculine guy, he's a dominant figure who she loves and who, despite whatever she might think of in her little weird-ass mind when it comes to a relationship, she should have affirmed him that he's the perfect nigga for her. And let me tell you this for any guy who's out there. Listen, I don't care if you look crazy. I don't care if you're fat, ugly, fat, uh, tall, short. I don't care if you got bad breath. I don't care if you broke, you rich. If you with a woman, a woman doesn't fully accept you if she constantly points out your inadequacies, okay? If she got with you, nigga, she knew who you were, and she knows it pretty quickly. She continues to poke fun at you about the things that you may not come up, you know, to, to quote, unquote, her standard. She's doing it to keep you in a place of being insecure if she if she fucked you a bunch of times and you got a small dick but she still got jokes about your small dick my nigga she already knew you had a small dick she fucks with the small dick but you know what she wants you to be still insecure because you know why some women actually get off at the fact that they could control you some women actually get off at the fact that they could keep you wrapped up in their fucking palm some women get off at the fact that that they have the ultimate power when you Feel insecure about yourself. That's Jada. There's no reason why we had to hear about Tupac been dead. I love Pac. Pac's one of the greatest ever. But Pac been dead since 96, nigga. You don't need to tell us all the great things about Pac and how you lusted after him. That should have been dead with Pac in the grave. You with this nigga. The fuck is you talking about Pac so much? That's a fact. You talked about a nigga so much that... That, 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 that goddamn Will Smith that come out on his own damn recognizance and say, I was jealous of a nigga. The nigga been dead 20 goddamn years. Why does he got to say this to shit now? You know why? Because you never, ever told that nigga, hey, that nigga was cool, but you're the best. Make that nigga feel insecure, man. This is. We told my Chris Rock, this shit ain't got nothing to do with Chris Rock. That was a weak joke, a G.I. Jane joke. I ain't even get it till I Google this shit. That ain't no joke about alopecia. That's a joke that hit hard that he thought was funny, and he looked over at his wife. Trust me, and I said it on my podcast. Y'all gonna go, 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 go watch that soul episode where I did it with Leaf, actually. Um, the episode where I talked about this whole shit. It, remi it reminds me of situations that men get into a lot of times where... You are put in a position where your woman disapproves of you not doing anything. That nigga was laughing at that motherfucking joke. He was laughing at that motherfucking joke. And as soon as he looked at his wife's eyes, his wife's eyes told him that shit not funny. So he stopped thinking it was funny. That shit offended me. Do something. And it's because he's never been adequate enough that he Stood up like a drone and went to do that shit. I'm telling you, brother. When he looked in her eyes, that's the only way he could still, because he's been trying for over two decades, 
to secure his manhood with, manhood with his own wife. And his own wife is now has a public platform. Talk about his red table talk shit. By the way, it's a mistake that he's about to go on that shit. Why the fuck you about to go on this red table talk? She gonna emasculate that nigga some more. She's never went on that bitch and said, yo, this is my superhero. This nigga is my protector. This nigga, he's done everything to secure me, make sure that we have a way of life. He's done everything to satisfy me. All we hear from this chick, he ain't doing enough. She's talking about August Alcina. Oh, yeah. Will couldn't satisfy me. Start to find another nigga. Nobody want to hear that bullshit. And this is the problem with everybody who's in this new, new like, you know, really pussyfied society. We got to act like, yo, a dude who's being told that he, you know, even though we're raised, sometimes it's nature over nurture. By nature, by nature, men are men are supposed to be the breadwinners. By nature, we are supposed to be the people who are the suppliers and who are supposed to provide certain things. But nurture is trying to say now, those same men will grow up to be the same if they're pussy, if they don't, if they can't provide nothing in life, they can't defend nothing, and if they don't stand for anything. Will Smith is a, is the biggest example. That, that nigga not happy. I never seen her give that nigga one type of prop. She sunned him. Even when he went on the red table talk, he, sh he should have never even went on that bitch. Shorty, you, you in an entanglement. You let that nigga sing about it. What the fuck that got to do with me? I got to come here to co-sign your sins. And when she came there, when he came there and he basically put his neck on the guillotine to once again get his neck chopped off just for her reputation and her ego. But she got this nigga so balled up in her fucking palm of her hands when that nigga was there. You know, and I could go back to the clip. You know what she said? She said it in front of his face. I didn't need his permission. Nobody could get me the permission. You in a marriage with a nigga and you basically saying that the fact, the mere fact you stuck, you stepped out that relationship, that that marriage. Y'all got kids together. You stepped out that marriage and fucked a R&B singer. Nobody had to give you no permission because you some big boss. Bro, you took that man's manhood, bro. That nigga been walking around and masculated for the longest. I'm going to tell you how some of these things manifest itself. I see Will Smith get on the gram afterwards. Yo, I'm about to get back in shape. I know insecurity when it comes to niggas. When you feel you're not enough for your bitch, you start trying to better yourself so much because you're hoping that whatever she's been looking at, maybe you could get to that point that you're the nigga who she wants to be with. No, nigga. I'm about to get back in shape. I'm about to do this. I'm about to do that. I'm about to do more. I'm about to make more money. I'm about to do. Nigga, you ain't the one for her. Shorty wanted Pac. Shorty wants some other shit. She wanted August Alcina. That slapping, you gonna hear her say it. You gotta watch body language. I can't wait till I see this bullshit ass uh, 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 red table talk. She gonna give approval to him. For a first time in a long time. Even though that act of gaining approval probably ruined a lot of his chances in Hollywood. Women don't give a fuck. She's going to give him props. But she's going to sun him while she's doing it. Because those props is temporary. She's going to look at him differently than she looked at that nigga for the last 20 years. She ain't had no respect then. She still ain't had no respect now. But she at least respect that moment. I watched that shit and it's sad, man. I seen that nigga cry. And all them tears, he don't want to be honest, man. All them tears, them tears is because his own wife don't respect him, dog. I'm telling you, she don't respect that nigga, bro. Bro, she talked about fucking another man. And she said that this is how self-absorbed she is. People haven't really analyzed her. She said one of the reasons she fucked August Alcina 
is because she saw he was broken and she thought she could help him. If she thought that about a stranger, what does she think about Will? She probably thinks she's helping him as a broken soul just by being with him. Y'all gotta go back and watch her. She been having this nigga Will Strong the fuck out. It's surprising and shocking. All respect to Chris Rock, but that slap came down. Because it was a nigga who has never been enough in his life to his own woman who thought a joke was kind of funny because it was a G.I. Jane joke. It's a little weak, but it was still could be funny. It's an award show type uh, ah, joke. And he looked at his wife and his wife had that look on her face and probably looked him in the eye. We won't got the full footage. I guarantee she looked him in the eye. And I guarantee what he read off that that look was. This is exactly why I think you a bitch. And when that nigga seen it, he been getting played on the internet. He's at an award show. He's getting punked at home. That nigga got up and said, fuck it. I'm going to be honest. Fuck it. Something got to give. Something had to give. He seen her. Y'all playing him? He rather, trust me, you know why he was partying so happily after? Be because a nigga like him, he rather be seen as squandering away his opportunity in the industry than be seen as inadequate in his wife's eyes. She been trying him ever since. She don't got no respect for this man. She want Pac. Bro, I read some of these interviews. Bro, look at these headlines. Look at these headlines. Jada says Will could never satisfy her. Look. Hold on. Now she's saying it was. No, this is when she cleaned it up. I, I got. Wait, where is that? We don't. We, oh, this is all the cleanups. And I ain't gonna lie to you. Will was doing cuck shit. I don't have the strength to satisfy Jada's sexual desires. Nigga, what type of desire does this chick got that you don't have the the strength to do it? Jada gets candid about her sex life. Hold on, I'm going to get y'all the right part. Look at this bullshit. The act we have given each other trust and freedom with the belief that da da da. I don't suggest this road for nobody. Will is the ultimate cock. Will's been conflicted because he played the Fresh Prince, but his life has never been that. The Fresh Prince is who we wanted Will to be, but who Will wanted to be. I think we have to be honest with that. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is who we wanted. To, you know why we're so upset? We thought that was him. You know, if we heard the same story about Carlton Banks with his wife, we'd be like, it's Carlton. In, a, in reality... You always said this. Think about the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Carlton, they said a nigga like Carlton, right? 
just like if you if you know Braxton with Jamie Foxx show, they say those are the, those actors were always plagued by the fact that their persona on those shows that was very popular became so big that people didn't want to see them as anything else. But let's be honest. It's the same with Will. You know why Will was a Will was a natural hit in Bad Boys. Mike Lowry getting all the bitches. In all the roles where the bitches are fawning over him, we accept it because we bought into Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Of course, they all want Will. They love Will. We'll get bitches. What we all don't want to accept is Will was closer to Carlton than Carlton was closer to Carlton. It's a cuck. It's a cuck. And we would have never known until his red fucking table. Somebody say he's bi. I don't think he's bi at all. I think he's a cuck. But but but, but when I say that, like, I know some of y'all think about that, like, white people cuck shit. Like, white people, they're cucks and they like it. Or some white people. They're cucks and they love it. Will, if you ever read his book, yo, he has so many issues from the past. That you would understand this a little bit more. His acceptance. From people and from the, uh, the opposite sex. Has been yearned for for years. I'm just telling you. That Jada. Has done a number on this nigga. This nigga is fucked up. And it's my guy. Will my homie. But Will is not Fresh Prince. Will is not Mike Larry. Will is not Hitch. Will is none of these dudes or characters that he's played where he's getting women and he's a sex or relationship guru. Remember when he played a Hitch? Will Smith Hitch. His character in Hitch, which we all agreed, was the nigga who was a date doctor. He was teaching other men how to get women. The irony. The man who was teaching women how to get... The, the, the man who was teaching other men how to get women obsessed with him or obsessed with them. His own woman in real life obsessed with Pac. Obsessed with August Alcina. Obsessed with everybody but him. That's a conflict. And that's an inner conflict. Him slapping Chris Rock was his last attempt to try to prove his manhood to his woman. We're going to see a lot of blowback from this. Because he's never gone this far in trying to do it. At least publicly. He was allowing her to fuck whoever she wanted. She came to him. Oh, yeah, I want to fuck August Alcina now. You know what he was saying? Okay, baby. As long as you still love me. She was like, yeah, I love you, nigga. But yeah, I ain't going to lie. I'm going to August concert tonight. He say he's going to be hitting the falsetto and then he's going to be fucking the shit out of me. I'll catch you later. She's like, okay, you still love me though, right? Uh, Yeah, I love you. Okay, see you later, buddy. He was cool with it. That nigga was cool with it. He was down to let other niggas fuck his girl as long as he still felt there was some love there. Somebody said, 
Do you think Jada's a freak? I don't think anything with Jada is sexual. Like him just not being able to sexually, you know, meet her standard. I think Jada is a manipulator, but there's a lot of them in life. And when women catch a malleable guy, a weak nigga, or someone who they can run game on, they do it for as long as they can, but they they are often usually shocked. And I guarantee when Jada talks about this, she was going to be like, I guarantee this is going to be her talk. Remember this. You know, like, you know, it was definitely out of line, but I was shocked that Will did it. But I love him. You shouldn't be shocked that he did it. He was pushed to that point. Why was he pushed to that point? He been trying to get your approval for years. Jada has been fucking with this nigga Willhead for years, bro. Here's the funny part about it. Because everything that we tangibly call success and the metrics we look at, she f- pales in comparison to him. You know why people they're trying to say, no, it's because of the history of Chris Rock and Jada. Bro, Jada ain't that popping of an actor or actress. She got clowned before by 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 um Chris Rock. You know why? Bro, you not getting no fucking awards at the uh, the Oscars. The fuck? Jada? Nigga, Jada ain't no fucking good actor like that. But that's what I'm trying to say. The real star in the relationship is Will. Yet, due to manipulation, he was led and walked into a moment where he's pretty much down to throw. This this was the, this, I think this was the first time he was ever going to win Best Actor at the Oscars. Or potential acceptance from his wife. The more successful nigga who's with the career loser, and when I mean career loser, she ain't winning Oscars like that. Let's be honest. When he was about to get to the mountaintop, he looked in her face and seen that disapproval, and in his mind instantly said, Fuck that Oscar. I got to make her feel good. I think he's in an abusive relationship. But of course, men, when we are, you know, taken advantage of or abused mentally by a woman, nobody gives a fuck. We're just usually called bitch ass niggas. That's just how it goes. I empathize and sympathize with Will Smith, but I hope he gets help. And I hope Jada allows him to get, get help. Please. Okay. Um, let me see how this shit is, is working so far. Oh, Lee. Yo, YouTube is winning right now, but YouTube, we're gonna have to cut you because I'm about to listen to um um I'm listening to Young Boys 12 songs and I'm getting off of here. Hey, thank y'all so much. I I, I, I I'm gonna be honest with you, Twitch. This is inconclusive, I'm gonna be honest. It's about tide. We've had about 3,500 on average on both platforms. I hope I've read everybody's comments. Let me see. Let me see. I think I've read everybody's comments. If I've missed your, if I've missed any super chats, let me know. If I've missed any um, donations, somebody said, yo, I donated 60 to you. Oh, did you? Said, so please drop a 69 update. Bro, like, I can't tell you everything with 6 9 i I'm just being honest, bro. It's just... <clears throat> I, I, I'm, I'm waiting on 6 9 I'm waiting on him. I, I'll tell you this. I, I went to... Um, um, I, I'm hoping he's doing good. I went to Florida. I was I expected to see him like normal. I didn't see him. Um, didn't hear from him. And other people hit me up concerning him, was wondering why, whatever, whatever. 
I did hear from him like a day ago. Um, I hope he's doing well. I hope he's doing well. I haven't talked to him, but I hope he's doing well. You know, you know, especially when you see other artists, mental health comes before everything else. Um, I hope he's doing well, and you know, I'm 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 obviously a resource and someone who's there to talk to talk to everybody or talk to you know people who, whatever. But um, yeah, I I really don't know what, what's going on with him. I'm being honest with you. Y'all not gonna believe me. Y'all gonna think I'm lying. I really don't know. So. He texts me. I called him. I've called him like twenty times in the last like four days, which he usually answers. I returns my call. Got nothing back, so I don't know. Other people hit me like, "Yo, you've heard from him." I'm like, "Wait, what you mean? You ever heard from him?" I called him. I don't know. I have, I have no idea. So again, just pray for him. I, I don't know what's going on. Just to be honest, All right? Okay, that's my update. Uh, Ophio J. Dizzy said, tell Meg, she, ah, chill, man, chill, 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 uh, no, no, could we start a petition for Will to divorce her, bro, it's not that easy, man, like, yo, his whole happiness, if you ask me, is dependent on her, so it's not just divorcing somebody, Will is, he got so much money. The mere fact he would do that at the award show, I think he cares about the approval and the love of her more than anything else. Even if maybe personally, it's not the best thing. When it comes to a situation like that, you need therapy. There's not no petition that's going to work. Like, I think he depends on her to be happy. And she... Controls his happiness basically with a string. Okay. So I said, get treatment. She 